everybody, it's me, Fifi Rochelle, and welcome back to another video. So today is game day, and I got like a mini grocery haul, and then y'all are gonna cook with me today. And then of course, we're gonna be cooking something that you can make on game days or whatever days, because I'm telling you what I'm about to make. It is so good. You're gonna be licking all your fingers. But before we get into that, guys, make sure y'all hit that red subscribe button. So you'll be a part of this family because we're growing. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand subs. So hit that red subscribe button so you'll be part of the family. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the mini grocery haul because it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm about like nine to ten bags, so it ain't really that much. But yeah. Alright. Y'all see Babe right here. He got on his jersey and stuff. Babe, show me your jersey because I told him today is game day. Show him. Show him what we represent. And he got a lot of comments on this Emmett Smith jersey today. Yeah. Women and men. <laughs> so anyways, let me show y'all what I got. I got some on the border cafe style of tortilla chips. And then I got the party size Doritos nacho cheese chips. So right there, should I already tell you, we're gonna be making some nachos. Then I got this 24 pack of apple juice. Oh, it's so heavy, y'all. I got this. The kids love these. And then um, the kids had got a, a cookbook from one of my friends, and in the cookbook, he shows them how to make a milkshake. So they're gonna be making some milkshakes. So I had got half a gallon of whole milk. And then Babe, he drinks his um, Naked Green Machine juices. He loves these, so he got this as well. So right there is already out of two bags. Let's get into the other bag. I'm gonna just come a little bit closer. So, don't mind my sink, y'all. My faucet, that's my faucet. <laughs> okay, out of this bag, I got some mild sliced jalapenos. And then we got some vegetable oil. This is the salsa queso easy milk cheese, ACG brand. And of course it tells you we're gonna be making some milkshakes, so we got some um, Hershey's syrup. Got some of that. And then I got that, I'm making ice cream. So of course we got some uh, homemade vanilla ice cream. And then, I'm gonna be making some nachos. I really got shrimp and steak at home that's been like unthawing, but I went and picked up some, some more chicken breast. So my nachos, we're gonna have chicken breast, we're gonna have uh, shrimp, we're gonna have steak, we're gonna do it all. <laughs> and then I have to pick up some more um, checker fries because we love our french fries over here. And then, um, in this lovely bag here, I got some mint made fruit punch. And then I got the Welsh's passion fruit. It's just a regular passion fruit. So good. And then last but not least, we got some shredded lettuce. Um, Sour cream, some a pickle dip gallo. I'm like the only one that eats this, so that's why I only got a little bit. Um, three limes, yummy yum, to season that chicken and stuff, you know. Uh, they picked up some bananas because he loves eating bananas in the morning. Uh, also, I picked up some guacamole for the nachos. And then I have pizza, some, I have cheese at home, but I saw they had this Italian cheese. This is not for the nachos. I repeat, this is not for the nachos. This is actually gonna be for something else when I make it, but I do have some shredded cheese that I'm gonna use for the nachos. But, guys, right there is my little mini grocery haul. First things first. I'm gonna put up these groceries because baby's getting the grill ready. 
And then when he gets the grill ready, up and running, and hot to the temperature I need it and stuff, I'm gonna come back to you guys and we're gonna show you the chicken, the shrimp, and the steak, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip. But first, we're gonna put these groceries up because this ice cream is sitting out too long. Mexican um, shredded cheese, and then I got some a Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers and mild cheddar blend. So we're just gonna sprinkle this all over the nachos. Little sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. We're gonna use all of the cheese. Get all in there. All in there. You might even put a little bit more chips back on top. Like so. I like mine flat, but we just gonna layer on top of layer on top of layer. Alright, everything else is kind of crumbs. I don't want the clothes. All right guys, so here's my little layer of tortilla chips and shredded blended cheese. We're gonna put this up in the oven with the shrimp and chicken that's been chilling in here. We're gonna let that melt down. While that is melting down, I gotta get this meat out. So I got my shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. I have my steak, and we're about to chop these up guys so we can add it to the... Okay guys, so the nachos is out. The shredded cheese is melted. We're gonna put the shrimp and the steak. Babe is chopping up the chicken. The cheese, the queso cheese is melted down. So the nachos are being built as we speak. Mm. So Babe is sprinkling some of the chicken on there now. Hey, y'all wanna sit down? Go ahead babe, throw some of that on there. I told you it's called a loaded nacho. This is perfect for game days. You got a lot of people coming over, oh. kids, whatever, throw it together. And just let everybody just eat right off the pizza pan. <laughs> yeah, I need to call some people. <laughs> Oh, you better 
You ready to eat your nachos? No. What are the ingredients? The ingredients are, three, I mean, a cup of milk, uh -huh. a cup of chocolate flavored syrup. And then of course you're gonna need some of, ice cream. Yeah, a large scoop of it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. They got a cookbook from my friend Vanessa. Say thank you, Vanessa. Thank, thank you, Vanessa. For the cookbook. Our first thing we're making is what out of the cookbook? Uh, milkshake. Uh, chocolate milkshake to be a fat. Yeah, we're gonna make some chocolate milk. Okay, so it says on here you're gonna make three large scoops of ice cream. I am the parent, so I'm gonna put their ice cream in there for them so they won't make a mess. And we got homemade vanilla. Oh, so Here's the ice cream scoop. Take it in. Count with me, guys. One, one, two, two, two. Three. 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 Okay, now on to Major's part. Major's part. You can give it a quarter of one four for chocolate syrup. Put the measuring cup down so you won't spill. To the top. It's to the top. Okay, now pour it into your blender. Go wash your hands. What do you do? Keep rubbing his freaking nose. Pour that. Right. For the milk part, you are going to need one, one third. Three fourths. Three fourths. Of milk. Of milk. And you are going to need a half. You ain't gonna need nothing. You're gonna need to at least use three fourths cups of milk. He has half a cup, half half a measuring cup, and one fourth measuring cup, which equals to three fourths. Take that one fourth, pour it in there. Steady, steady, steady. Pour it in there. Now take this, pour this milk in this, and then pour it in there. I want it. Nice and slow, nice and slow. This bad. All right, now we're gonna pour it into our Belinda. Who's getting the first milkshake? Men, I guess. Men? Okay, come on, man, pour it in there. Men. Thank you, Major, for cleaning behind when you make a mess. All right, men, now go over there and grab that lid. Where'd that lid go? Who's beside Major? Major, can you come back over here? Okay. Now put the lid on there right, man. Make sure it's sealed top. Push it down good. Push it down. All right, make sure it's all closed. Now hit the on button, on and off button. Is it on? Yeah, it's working. Now hit the milkshake button. Milkshake's right here, man. You like it? What about you, May? I can taste it. It's really good. Does it taste like a nice chocolate milkshake? I haven't had a milkshake, but it tastes a little bit like chocolate milk turned into ice cream. So. Like it? What about you, Kaysen? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. 
So there you go guys, that is how to make a quick and easy, delicious milkshake. And you don't have to use chocolate syrup, they say you can use caramel topping or butterscotch topping to make a delicious ah. milkshake. And y'all see, it's a win, win, win over here. So we're gonna make some more. All right, tell them bye. Bye.